Hey, what's up? One of the uh, integral parameters uh, to obviously DSLR use is your computer, whether that's a MacBook or if it's a, a wind blows machine. I, I mean a Windows. <laughs> I mean a Windows machine. It's proper understanding of how to take care of your lithium battery. Um, I used to do tech support for Apple, and I've literally answered over the years hundreds of thousands of questions. Um, and any understanding of batteries, which I've always had a fascination with batteries, and of course uh, your Nikon has lithium batteries as well. Uh, while some of these rules do not apply to uh, how uh, your uh, Nikon uh, battery is used, uh, many of them do. But right now we're going to be talking specifically about notebook computer lithium batteries, and it doesn't matter whether it's a MacBook or a Windows machine, we are talking about uh, lithium batteries, lithium ion batteries how they work and actually how best to take care of them. There's a huge amount of misnomer about this and I can't tell you, I've literally rewritten this uh, condensated uh, article on how to take care of your MacBook, specifically this particular section on how to treat a lithium battery inside either your MacBook or your or uh, your Windows uh, notebook, it doesn't matter. They're, they're all lithium ion batteries, they're all made by one of four groups. Not, I mean, Apple doesn't make their own batteries, neither does anybody else. A lithium battery is a lithium battery is a lithium battery. There is uh, some discrepancy on that, but generally it is the case that uh, that they're all the same and they need to, you need to understand how to treat them. Um, there's a reason why MacBooks are actually shipped with a 50% charge and not a 100% charge. Um, I did so much research on this, I thought I knew everything about lithium, so lithium batteries, but I found out when people call in for, uh, I mean, uh, drop questions for tech support on their batteries. Um, I'd do investigative work on uh, any uh, anomalies and I'd ask them a, a short string of questions and I got that string of questions down shorter and shorter. And then I developed the true religious Bible, if you will, about how to take care of lithium batteries and I consulted other experts that actually work in the industry on this and I developed the most simplex clarified example very short order of how to take care of lithium batteries uh, as far as your uh, notebooks concerned and if you follow this there's nothing else out there that's this concise or this accurate on how to take care of them um, clarifications priorities of decreasing importance by the way I'll give you the link to this um, particular article which is on Apple's website um, priorities in order of decreasing importance for battery care are number one, avoiding deep discharges of the battery. Number two, avoiding having your battery constantly on charge or on charge and in sleep mode. Bad. Okay. Number three, when playing graphic intense games, you need to have your notebook plugged in when possible. Very fast discharges of a lithium battery when using uh, graphics uh, intense uh, use. Um, that could also be from video editing or a video conversion or, uh, or a graphics uh, processing. You need to do as little of that as possible while on battery. Deep, fast uh, discharges the battery and uh, cause the premature death of your lithium ion battery. Number four, reduction of battery cycles by uh, plugging uh, into power while on the go or when accessible. A person who has, for example, 300 charge cycles uh, on their battery and is recharging at say 40% remaining on 100% charge has better battery condition state than say another person who has 300 charge cycles on their battery and is recharging when it reaches the level of 10 to 15% remaining on 100% charge. The DOD or depth of discharge is vitally important on the wear and tear on either your MacBook or your Windows uh, notebook uh, battery, lithium ion battery much, much more so than it is the counting of charge cycles, okay? There is no set mile of wear for a charge cycle in specific. Frequent high depth of discharge rates uh, draining the battery very low and a lithium battery will greatly hasten the lower, lowering of maximum battery capacity. You need to understand that a charge cycle is a general parameter of use but not directly related to the short-term or mid-term abuse of the battery which can rapidly hasten or shorten the lifespan regardless of the actual cycle count on the battery. All these people talk, call and say, well, I've only got a certain number of cycles on the battery, but it's not holding a charge anymore. Then I'd ask them questions like, are you playing graphics intense uh, games on the battery? Yeah, I was. Like, well, that's what killed your battery. Or I'll say, uh, 
Um, did you always have your MacBook plugged in? It was always basically sitting 100% charged. They stick it in sleep mode. They wouldn't turn it off. They'd keep it plugged into the wall. They'd actually shut the lid on their notebook or uh, or MacBook Air, MacBook Pro, and then it'd be in sleep mode and constantly in charge. It's like, well, it's only got 20 charges. It's not charge cycles. It's about the condition of how the battery was treated. Um, uh, abuse of the battery is entirely avoidable. Long-term eventual old age and deterioration of the battery, of course, is entirely unavoidable. Um, some of the adaptive charging systems that are built into the MacBooks and uh, the Windows uh, notebooks mitigates a lot of potential accidental battery uh, misuse, but however, it is very, very easy and possible to abuse the battery and thereby destroy battery health and, uh, you know, necessitate a change out of your internal uh, MacBook or your notebook uh, battery. There is no battery calibration for lithium-ion batteries. This uh, notion is absolute nonsense as far as calibrating lithium batteries. Um, not only does Apple state that this is no longer a premise, uh, but it is the state of any lithium battery um, for uh, your uh, electronic device, including that of, uh, for your camera. Um, a lot of battery experts on lithium-ion uh, cells call it the 80% rule, meaning use 80% of a full charge or so, then recharge them for better overall life. Uh, the main quantified damage done to the use of lithium-ion batteries are instances where the internal notebook battery is often drained very low. This is bad general overall use of your battery. Any batteries in any device and consumer will meant to be replaced eventually after much time, and even under perfect use conditions. Now here's a point to uh, listen to, and I wrote all of this for Apple, and it's uh, basically turned into the Bible of general uh, uh, battery uh, uh, use and abuse uh, rules for taking care of, and this doesn't just apply to MacBooks, it applies to any notebook out there now which uses lithium-ion batteries, which is basically all of them. Number one, while realistically a bit impractical during normal everyday use, a lithium battery's longevity and its chemistry's health is most happy swinging back and forth between 20% and 85% charge, roughly. Number two, do not purposefully drain your battery very low, 15% and less, and do not keep them charged often or always at near high or max capacity. Number three, lithium batteries do not like the following. A, deep discharges, as meaning roughly 10-15% or less. Avoid this in all instances if you can. This is hard on the lithium ion membrane cell for transmission of charge ion. Um, B, rapid discharges, is referring to energy intensive gaming on batteries on a frequent basis, in which case, while gaming, if possible, do same on power rather than on battery. C. Constant inflation, meaning almost always or most often on charge, and certainly not both in sleep mode and on charge always or often. Um, like I said, I'll give you the link below on checking this out, so if you want to review it yourself, but after rewriting this about 30 times and making it very, very simple, this uh, golden Bible, if you will, of lithium, ion, uh, a lithium uh, battery uh, use and abuse parameters now fits every absolute criteria ever experienced or complained about by anybody on any MacBook or any Windows machine that I can ask them a couple questions and say, well, I just got the computer and it's not holding a charge yet. So, I know that they've done one of two or three things, and I ask them those questions, and it's always, you know, one of the three or a combination thereof, so I've got this perfected to 110% absolute perfection, so that every use and abuse or the correct way to take care of a lithium battery falls into this tiny, tiny, uh, you know, ten commandments, although it's not ten, 10 Commandments of uh, How to Take Care of Your Lithium Battery. And there's nothing else out there like this. I wrote it, I'm proud of it, and I worked damn hard on writing it and rewriting it and asking expert after expert. But, importantly, at, at proving that it was true, I kept asking the same questions over and over again to thousands and thousands and thousands of people were, that had questions about their battery. Um, on their MacBook Air and their MacBook Pro, and it, it always nailed it. 
after I got this perfected, this was always 100% accurate. There was never a parameter that, uh, that someone complained about an issue with their battery life or it holding a charge, yada yada yada, that was not covered by these very simplex tenants uh, that I wrote. So I nailed it, and I should have nailed it because I worked really damn hard on it. And I wanted to share it with you and let me know uh, what you well. I don't, I don't need any. I don't need any feedback on it because I know it's perfect. <laughs> I've confirmed it in real life many, many thousands of times over. Anyway, check the link below, and uh, you'll see it. And uh, that way, uh, you can save yourself money and protect the batteries in your camera and in your notebook. Whether that's a Windows or PC, it doesn't matter. A lithium battery is a 